Hey guys, Southern Long Guy. Uh, time to change out my mower blades. I have a spare set. So I'm gonna do a little quick overview of how I do that. Uh, don't take but just a minute. So um, I highly recommend if you uh, have the funds and the patience to, to do it, you get a good quality mower and get yourself an extra set of blades. Um, the extra blades just make it so much easier. I can sharpen them when I get time and I can swap them out. I have a spare set usually sharpened sitting on a bench or over on the toolbox. So um, that way whenever I notice the blades are dull or the grass isn't getting cut clean, then I can just swap them out. Guys, I have the, uh, had this mower for, I believe, two years now. It uh, started out with my St. Augustine grass when I lived in uh, my previous house in a different city before I transferred here. Um, original gangster, the Don there, Long Care Nut, ordered some products from him through his uh, website. And when they came in, they came with a sticker. So um, I put that on there. It's pretty much the same location he had it on, but a little nod to him because his review was probably the best review that I read. Uh, or watched videos on anywhere that I found. So uh, that was the deciding factor between this mower and other mowers I looked at. Now his mower was a little bit lower model. This is the uh, Honda HRX 217, but this model is the HYA, which is one step below the commercial model. Um, I picked this on purpose because looking at the commercial model, it was about $100 to $150 more. And it, although it may be a little bit better quality components, uh, the next light deck is, comes with a limited lifetime warranty. Uh, this Honda GCV 190 engine configuration with a hydrostatic drive uh, allowed me to get almost everything I wanted out of the commercial mower, but it came with either a three-year or a five-year warranty. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to check on that, or you guys can uh, you can look it up. So recommended maintenance for this. Uh, make sure you keep up with the maintenance schedule from your uh, owner's manual. I like to keep an eye on the grass and see when it looks like I need to change the blades, but typically every about every month, every four to six weeks at most, depending on how much I'm mowing, I'll change the blades. Now, uh, some people just want their blades sharpened all the time, so they'll sharpen them like every couple of weeks. Just depending on how much you're mowing, what type of grass you're mowing, even though it's just grass and it's soft, it will cause issues with wearing down the blades. Um, sharpness, it doesn't have to be super sharp. Uh, they say pretty much like a butter knife. So as long as it's sharp as a butter knife, um, similar to it, then that, that will cut grass pretty well. This has the uh, Versamo two blade system. So um, Versamo means that you can have the adjustable back so that you can uh, control how much, uh, there's 10 different settings so you can control how much uh, how much you bag. But outside of that, um, it does have the two blade system and that helps to chop the grass down, the leaves, uh, mulches them up very well. Uh, I typically mulch, uh, I do bag on occasion if I have a lot to cut if I'm kind of behind on my uh, one third rule, um, or if I have leaves, or if I'm just trying to get a good super clean look uh, to the grass, then I'll go ahead and bag it. For changing the blades, uh, one thing I like to do, always double check and make sure your gas cap is light. If, uh, if you don't know the way that mowers work is a compression engine, you don't have a battery and a starter, it's a manual pull start. And when you pull that rope, it causes compression on the cylinder, which causes a spark, which ignites the fuel and causes it to start. Make sure that you disconnect your spark plug before you do that. So if you don't disconnect that and you slip when you're pulling the blades and cause a revolution on here, even just one revolution or a partial revolution could be, if it was at the perfect moment on the compression cycle, could cause the engine to start. Uh, it, some people would say that's unlikely. Uh, I will say that most of these are 10 to 20,000 um, revolutions per second on the blade tip speed and I would not want to try um, with my hands under there to, to make that mistake it's uh, maybe one that's going to cause permanent damage and just don't do that it's not worth it it only takes a second and once you're done you can pop it back on uh, also check your air filter make sure it's clean I usually change the blade every couple of weeks to a month um, four to six weeks uh, during the slower season but Every time I fill up the gas, I check the air filter to make sure if there's any dirt in there. I just tap it to get the dirt out uh, and change it as necessary. Make sure you follow your engine 
uh, owner's manual for oil change cycles. It's a new mower. I believe it's like five to eight hours break in. You're supposed to change the oil to make sure there's no um, metal fragments or anything in there. And it's called the break in oil. And after that, uh, most mowers are every 50 hours to 100 hours, depending on if it's a riding mower, or bigger engine, if they have oil filter. A lot of times you change the oil every 50 hours and the filter every 100 hours. Some bigger commercial mowers will be longer cycle, but that's the recommended cycle from most manufacturers I've seen. Uh, you have two bolts here and take those off. Make sure the blades go, the new blades go back on the way they come off. Uh, they're stacked. So the cutting surfaces, the shiny, once you sharpen them, the shiny cutting surfaces should both be um, up. Uh, as far as the uh, two bolts under here, um, I tried a 9 16 and a 14 millimeter. The 9 16 uh, would probably get the job done, but if you notice when you put it on there, it has a tiny amount of wiggle. That would probably get it off if you don't have another option, but 14 millimeter uh, is just going to be a better fit. When you put it on there, you want absolutely almost no wiggle because any wiggle, if it's, if it's tightened down, it's going to cause it to have a little bit too much uh, play. And if it slips, it's gonna strip that bolt out and you're gonna to have to replace it. Make sure your ratchet is set for the proper direction. These blades are a little sharp, but they're not too bad, so I'm able to get it started. I've seen people use, um, they've used the uh, impact or a cordless drill to do this. That works too, but it's not really needed. Get the old ones off, sharpen them later. Me personally, I like to start the bolt so that I can get it lined up with the hole. Get just a couple threads so it's started. Being that there's two blades here, that works a little easier for me. Again, make sure the cutting edge is down and the fin, the fin portion of the blade that circulates the air should curve up. The shiny edge of the blade should be up. This is the bottom of the blade. They set a certain way on the Hondas. They're designed where the holes should line up and that puts them where they're staggered. One blade will be slightly higher than the other. Quick refers to the socket. I just need to snug it up. See that little bit of turn on the blade there? It's not a lot. But if that were to slip and have compression on there, these Hondas absolutely start on the first pull pretty much every time. Only thing left to do Put it down, return your spark plug, double check your air filter just to make sure it's clean and good to go. Probably could use replacing that, but I just tap it out every time I change the blades. No more than 30 hours or so of mowing time. For residential, I'll be fine. Uh, commercial guys, a lot of the high-end property maintenance people, um, they want to make sure they get the cleanest cut possible. So on the higher end yards, sometimes they'll replace them out with a sharp set as, as often as every eight to 10 hours or one full mowing day uh, worth of mowing on the high end properties because uh, they wanna make sure that they have the, the clean look and they don't wanna lose those customers. I'll show you guys I'm not kidding on this, uh, this Honda starting on the first pull and talking about with the blades, if you happen to ac accidentally spin it, um, low probability that it would happen on just taking off a blade but I wouldn't risk it whatsoever. So turn your, uh, your engine speed up there. Make sure you have gas in there. And pretty much every time. That's it guys. Um, literally total time I think was about three minutes, including me talking and showing. I've done this enough that I probably could have done it 
uh, in under two minutes just because I had the blades ready to go. It's super fast if I wasn't trying to set up the camera, but uh, it's super, super easy when you have a spare set. Other than that, you just take the blades off and sharpen them if you have an angle grinder. Uh, you don't have to get them. The one benefit of having a spare set of blades is, like I said, you can sharpen them when you have time uh, in between uh, times you have to, to take them off. And uh, if one set of blades get damaged because you hit something inadvertently, then you already have a, another set ready to go. Super helpful during the, the uh, summer months when the mowing season is, um, or I'm mowing every couple of days at the shorter heights. Um, that, that helps out a lot. But I alternate between this and a real mower, the manual push reel mower. I'm going to do a, a video on that coming up showing how I um, can uh, back lap it so that we can uh, get the blades sharp for this upcoming mowing season. Also, uh, I'm going to do it to where I can show the um, how to adjust the height. There, there's a way on there how you can adjust the height from maximum to minimum. You can reverse some parts that I learned and you can drop it to where it'll go all the way down to almost half an inch. So uh, I'll show that in a video coming up. So like, subscribe, share, stay tuned. Happy New Year.